to find out what the uh, model is. You turn the faucet all the way over. And you have your model number in the back here. 7400. And we start uh, by taking the lid off. It just pops off. Or you can get to the uh, top part. And we're using a 764 uh, Allen wrench in order to uh, take this uh, bolt out. <coughs> Just gotta unscrew this top piece. We need to go underneath and we gotta turn off the valves for the hot and cold water. That's one that goes to the dishwasher, there's the other one over there. some of the pressure, put the screw in, lift up on it, make sure you turn them both hot and cold, and you get a thing to, to drain out a little, and we need to remove this uh, washer, and then we're going to take and loosen up this uh, nut there. Get here. Okay, next we pull this guy out. We gotta remove this O ring right here and this one right down here. Just stick your screwdriver blade in there, peel it up, and then we can get it all the way off. And same with this one here. your o-rings make sure you get the same size ones back in there and then we will install them back on there and they give you some grease you need to grease it okay once you get them on you gotta flip them all the way in get them back in the same grooves one on the bottom one there and you need to smear the grease in in the bottom where the seal rides clean out the old grease put in the new all right we got the uh, o-rings on there all ready to and we greased up the bottom, the inside where the rubber hits on both sides, the top uh, o-ring and the bottom. Now we gotta put this guy back on. And now, ooh, moves real free, no noise. Huh? Okay, we just gotta pull out our pin. Once we get the C-clip out. And then we grab a hold of it and lift and twist. Alright, this one is going to be a little difficult, so we put a vice grip on there and then pry it up with two screwdrivers. And that'll get them to move to where we can get the valve all the way out. And there it is. Alright, this is the new Wait, valve and we're ready to uh, install this guy and just set it in. Granny got a little bit of water in there, so that's got all get this placed. But to always put a little bit of grease on there so it goes in a little easier. And there it is, he's in there. And next thing we slide in our C clip. You have to reposition it a little bit. In order to get the seat clip in there and once we get the seat clip all the way in now make sure it's all the way down there okay it's in that's good
Okay, this is the uh, ring on the top. We got a little bit of grease on our finger, and we're going to pat it in where it's going to ride. Go all the way around the whole perimeter of the gasket there. And that's what's going to be sliding. And then we stick that guy right on top of there. And we stick in our retainer. Get him all the way in. Oh, that's all right. Is it going? Cool? Okay, then just snug this up. You don't want it too tight because otherwise it's not going to work. Okay. All right, now we got the uh, spout will move without any noise and it's nice and free. Okay. okay, the next thing comes in is this piece here and that will allow you to move the handle one way or the other. Okay, we need to stick our little washer in. That helps hold everything together. Next comes this guy. There we go. And then we put in our screw. Next thing we're going to do is open the valves. And this way we can check to make sure before we button it up uh, which way is cold, which way is hot. You can see we're leaking a little bit here from the valve. What we'll do is we'll tighten up this nut that uh, seals the uh, valve to the uh, unit. And same on the other one. And just pop up the water. And just recheck the valve. Stick your finger underneath uh, just to make sure no more leaks. Nice and dry. Okay, we figured out that this side here is hot, so we'll put this guy in here. <coughs> Set it in. This is <coughs> hot, and this is the cold side. So hot's always to your left, and cold is to the right. And then you see it stops over here. So now we got to put in our screw, tighten it all the way up, and then we'll be all set. Okay, we got our screw in and tightened. Next piece that goes on is your cap. It goes over the whole mechanism. And you have to turn it on a little bit just to get this tighten up on there. There you go. Now this is just hand tight. Next thing that goes on would be the valve. You might want to clean that up a little bit. Okay, I got that cleaned up. That there just sits right on top. And we have to get our Allen Oops. Next comes our little screw, goes in there, tighten that guy all the way up, but don't over tighten it, you might break it off. And then we get it with this guy. You see, once you get a little bit of tension on there, you got it tight enough. Then we put on our cap, we got the hot and the cold. There we go. <coughs> Start them up just here so it's facing front. So it's red just for hot. And yep, that's nice and hot water. Once you push it over the other side, you got cold water. Now if you got it just the opposite, you can take the thing apart and then take the valve. Just take the head of the valve and turn it 180 degrees and then reinstall it. 